The bruiser way. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And he's for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers first from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. The Bruiser Weight, Pete Dunn. Well, if you ask the Bruiser Weight, this is where Dunn has belonged all along in the bright lights on the big stage with a big opportunity ahead. They talk about having it, Corey. This kid has it. Intangibles, the skill set, the entitlement. Pete Dunne believes everything belongs to him, and he'll take it forcibly if he has to. We're looking at the future of sports entertainment right now. And his partner, representing Mustache Mountain from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Yeah, despite his young age, he's got the, the poise and the skill level of a veteran. We'll see if that mindset carries over tonight on the grand stage. Tyler Bay with a big opportunity to continue his rise in WWE. He's a big, strong boy. Imagine what the future holds for this incredible young superstar. And introducing the champions, first, from New York, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Damian Prince. Here we go, the matches for the Tag Team titles. And I assure you, it'll be tough to knock off the champs here tonight. They appear absolutely laser-focused heading into this match. The look on the champ's face tells the story of a man eager to get this match underway. Considering who he's in the ring with tonight, he might not want to be so excited. Welcome to Balor Club. And his partner from Bray County Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds, he is one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor! I'll tell you this one, guys. If you look at Finn Balor, you gotta wonder what kind of thoughts are circulating in his soul right now, in his mind, well, that's as he enters wrong, the biggest stage. Finn Balor doesn't think in his soul, he thinks with his mind. 
You just botched on the biggest pay-per-view of the year. How about you be quiet and enjoy the entrance and let me talk? I'm trying, but you're spewing nonsensical drivel. Guys, if you are looking for a billboard example of a superstar who has it, who has the it factor, look no further than Finn Balor. So that's what it's all about, the tag team titles. This is it, tag team action underway here, guys. And many people are predicting a new champion being crowned here tonight. That seems a bit premature to me, though. Oh, no luck gets done there. Too quick. Power Club in full force. The Irishman has his Irish up. Superstars with only one championship available for the taking. The stakes are high and the drama is real. I can't wait. And it's Pete Dunn answering back. Two. Three. This is the title match we've all been waiting for, guys, and so far it's delivered the goods. Serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. Five. Six. And there's the reversal from Finn Balor. Balor hooks him up. Bang! Detonation kick on the ear. Ooh, no luck against done there. Too quick. He's hurting now. If he doesn't get out of that corner, he's going to be hurting even worse. Uh-oh. We're going to see it. With power. Sit down, power bomb. Looking to make a much-needed tag here. And if successful, we may be looking at a whole new match here. So close, just a little bit more. Oh, but it's those last few inches that are always the toughest. Hoisted up and spiked. Comes in off the tag. Finn Balor, the first ever Universal Champion. They call him the extraordinary man who can do extraordinary things. He ordinary, extraordinary. What are you even talking about, Cole? Yes, look. Finn Balor was the first Universal Champion, but this is a what-have-you-done-for-me-lately industry. Look at this. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack, though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. He gets the head scissors. 
Corey, you have to admit, by only dwelling on the Universal Championship, you are majorly ignoring Finn Balor's reigns as Intercontinental Champion and everything else he's accomplished and continues to accomplish in WWE. Balor isn't the type of superstar to rest on his world. How dare you, Saxon? I would never ignore someone's accomplishments to prove my own point. Oh, what a crash. It won't take long for the aggression to escalate quickly in this one. Two. Oh my gosh, what a dive! The challenger not looking good right now. Why he's still in the match at this point is beyond me, guys. Maybe he forgot Two. it's a tag team match. I don't know, there's gotta be some explanation. You can begin to see it in these superstars' faces. Exhaustion is beginning to set in. They're starting to breathe heavier. This is the time where matches are won and lost. Really needs to get to the corner and make a tag. Otherwise, this match may be over sooner than later. Look out, he's almost there. If he doesn't make the tag, they're in big trouble here, Cole. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Well measured. Tyler Bate just too fast for him. Terrific reversal by Finn Balor. Needs to make it to the corner here, Corey. Oh, you're absolutely right, Cole. There's no way around it. Attack is vital at this point in the match. Nothing fancy, but very effective. Finn with a relentless attack. This is what he feeds off of. Whoa, no luck against done there. Too quick. Too quick to catch him there. The champ to the top. And Balor up top rope. I think the champ's got it. How is Tyler Bate going to survive Two, this? Three, three. They got it. Here are your winners. And still, Raw Tag Team Champions, Damian Prick. And Finn Balor. Another exciting tag team match in the books. It's really quite scary when you think about just how good the tag champs had been of late. Guys, somehow the Elimination Chamber manages to get even more exciting with each passing year.